Okay, so if you guys are unaware, there was a major issue here in the raffle scene for sneakers in the Philippines with the Jordan 1 fragment, uh, Travis Scott. So a lot of people were complaining, a lot of people were raising allegations na meron daw backdooring, that there were pairs given to influencers for free, or that the slots were canceled and they were given to other people. In fact, it was so hard to post anything if you want. Because you would automatically get labeled like uh, as a FNF or friends and family uh, of Nike Philippines of Jordan or Jordan Manila. So, medyo toxic siya. So, uh, I did an entire video of that. You can watch it. It's linked down below. For today's episode though, I want to talk about a different or a different angle to it. Which is about being more transparent or sneaker shops and brands being more transparent when they do sneaker raffles. So, what I actually did, I reached out to DTI, I asked them what they thought, and all of that we'll be discussing in today's episode. Excited? Ako sobra. Let's go. Okay, so this is my tweet uh, to DTI Philippines. So, hello, do companies need to apply for a DTI permit if they will do a raffle even if walang purchase to join. Why is the DTI permit important? Because if there is a DTI permit, brands and companies are required to have a DTI representative when they do the draw. So the goal is for the draw to be transparent. The goal is the draw to be fair. The, the goal is the draw to be, you know, trustworthy. And yun yung reason actually why it was so fun to join our raffles before, lalo na with Commonwealth and Sola Candy. I don't know kung niyo, di ba? They would live broadcast it. You would, you would put like your name on a piece of paper and you'd put it in like boxes and stuff. And then they would have a live draw that's broadcasted on their Facebook page. Just everybody would be watching. Tas na asar pang karamihan ng tao nun because sometimes uh, the stream would cut and stuff like that. But but you can rest assured kasi there's a DTI representative guarding the entire process. So yung tanong ko actually is very straightforward. Ang, ang issue kasi is a lot of brands and companies feel that if there's no purchase requirement, kung hindi ka magbabayad, Para makasali sa raffle, hindi mo na kailangan kumuha ng DTI permit. Yun yung stand ng maraming mga kompanya, brands, and SMEs. However, based on this tweet, like what I mentioned, do companies need to apply for a DTI permit if they will do a raffle even if walang purchase to join? Ito ang sagot ng DTI sa akin sa Twitter. Yes, once the campaign promotes a brand to increase loyalty, patronage, and sales of the brand, a sales promotion permit application must be filed with the department. Thank you. So yan ang sagot sa akin ng DTI Philippines. Now, obviously that the tweet can be interpreted in different ways, but ultimately, uh, I guess what they're trying to say is, yes, you should get a permit. You should get a sales permit. Yun yung parang sinasabi ni DTI. So ang tanong, should sneaker raffles have require DTI permits? Ito ang take ko. Ito, this is my personal take on the issue. If brands will take a lot, make a lot of effort in showing that the entire process has been transparent, fair, uh, you know, they would broadcast everything, they would show, you know, the allocation, etc., etc. If, if they can do that, then I think there wouldn't be a clamor and that level of distrust towards the process. However, ngayon na medyo toxic na siya and, and even if nanalo ka, parang feeling na ibang tao na friends and family ka, uh, I think that there should be a move uh, for, for sneaker raffles to be more transparent. Again, my call is really for brands to make that move. Uh, should it reach to a point na kailangan ng DTI permit and DTI representative every single time you do it? Uh, if that's what the law says, then we have to follow. If, if there's a different interpretation to it that I'm not understanding the baka hindi naman kailangan pero yung point ko is there should be more transparency there should be more um, openness and there should be more assurances to the public and to the customers to the community diba na everything is above board and again i'm not even saying that all of those bad things happen na may ginawa talaga sila mali it's just that it's perception and and magandang i how do i say this I address yung mga ganong klaseng issues. Kayo, what do you guys think? Um, let me know in the comment sections. Agree ba kayo? Disagree? Obviously, there's no right or wrong answer. Nagkukwentuhan lang tayo, nagpapalitan lang tayo ng ideas, freedom of speech, choo 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 choo. What I want to know what you guys think about the issue. Um, should sneaker brands be more transparent with the raffles? 
or dapat ba bahala na sila sa buhay nila tas sali lang tayo tas you know WWL or L so let me know what you think in the comment section down below I would love to hear from all of you and wag kayo mag-away ha baka naman mag-away kayo sa comment section my point is let's have a healthy discussion and see uh, what is the best way forward at least for our community here on my channel ano ba tingin natin I'd love to get the pulse so comment na kayo ngayon uh, maybe in the next video, I will read a couple of your comments Para naman may incentive kayo mag-comment, di ba? So, I will do that in the next episode To recognize some of you who left your thoughts on the issue As for me, happy pa ako sa mga outlet, sa mga sneaker sales At paminsan-minsan, kung wala talagang choice, di bibili ng resale Kung talagang gusto ko yung sapatos uh, Minsan-minsan susali sa raffle, pero di talaga ako maasa mananalo Sobrang malas ako pagdating sa mga ganun eh Okay, kung biwang, biglang lumiwanag because I was actually shooting earlier, there, were no, there was no electricity brown out. Now, before we end, I will show you something that definitely doesn't need a DTI permit and what that thing is, gifts. So as you guys, I don't know if you watched one of the previous episodes na nanawagan ako, di ko alam kung sino nagpadala na itong Luka Doncic NBA jersey sa akin uh, during my birthday. I, I now know who said this. So... Maraming salamat to one of my business partners, Attorney Rob. Uh, pinadala niya pala to. Walang card eh. Napaka-attorney mo talaga, no? So, anyway. <laughs> o yan, Don Chich. Maraming salamat. He actually messaged he was looking for a Trey Young jersey. As you guys know, Trey Young is my PC. But, uh, Rob, maraming salamat, brother. I appreciate you. Also, I just want to give a quick shout-out to one of my best friends, uh, Colin Chan, who gave this gift. It's like a demon slayer pillow. So, matutulog ka yata dyan. Tapos parang ganun eh, or something. But it's super cute. Colin, maraming maraming salamat. We, I always got you, bro. And thank you for always being such a great friend uh, through the years. May pinadala pa siyang fila bag. O, oh, ba? Tsaka bathing. Eh, actually, meron pa pala. Wait. Meron pang beep na coaster. Oh, social, ah. Colin, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Uh, and of course, yung regalo ni Mrs. ng birthday ko. Uh, those were the Gucci shoes that I showed you guys a couple of uh, episodes ago. So yun, yun ang definitely hindi kailangan ng DTI permit, birthday gifts. Okay, that wraps up the vlog for today. This is actually the last day before we go back to ECQ here in the Philippines. So I'll, allow me to just take this opportunity uh, to wish everybody well. Sana lahat kayo maging safe, sana lahat kayo maging okay. Stay safe, stay healthy, don't go out unless you really need to for essential runs. Uh, take note that the curfew is now 8 p.m. until 4 a.m. Pero hindi mo dapat, di ka talaga dapat lumabas unless it's an essential activity that you need to do. And I just pray na all of you, every single one of you watching today, uh, will be healthy, will be protected by God's grace and mercy, and we will all see through this pandemic. Dadaan to, babangon tayo. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.